Hi guys. Let me make sure this is in focus. Okay. Hi guys. So this is honestly, I don't know how many times I have done this video already, but um, I had uploaded my whole video. Then I realized that the light on my camera was shining and you couldn't see. So I'm filming this again. Um, so I only have about 15 minutes because that's what my um, phone will allow. And so, I'm not going to go through the embellishments because I didn't get much. So, I'm just going to skip over those. But I'm going to show you that I did get the Broadway bound paper. I'm not going to go through these individually because, like I said, this is the, the fourth time I'm having to film this video. And, and there are plenty of other demonstrators that have shown the paper. But, um, this one is the Animal Expedition. So, this is very cute. The one thing I do like about this one, um, I love how one side is all the little animals. And then, when you flip it over, it's more of the graphic images. This one is the T um what is this one? T room specialty um designer series paper. So you get 24 sheets here. I didn't for some reason when I got this, I didn't realize that. But you do get 24 sheets. It is thinner than our normal paper. So if you hear how thin that is, and this is the beautiful promenade, and that's a little bit thicker. It's okay. But, um, that is thinner. It can still be used for your cards. And it's, um, thin enough that you could probably get, like, your envelopes and stuff out of this also. And then, with the beautiful promenade, um, Stampin' Up! Um, showed a video on how, um, the designers created the paper using Photoshop. So, that's very cute. Okay, so, oh, before I forget. Then I got two packages of the um, Tropical Escape Designer Series paper. I absolutely love this paper. So this one is going to be my favorite one that I'm probably going to order several more packs of. Um, simply because these are my sorority colors, um, pink and green. Uh, so I'm going to... Um, a lady of Apple Kappa Apple Sorority. And so, I'm going to absolutely love that. So, now I'm going to show you the stamps and bundles that I got. So, I did get the Peaceful Reflections. I'm trying to make sure I, you guys don't see the glare here. And I love this set because of the water piece right here and um i figured that this would be beautiful with um like the flamingo set also and the whole purpose behind this set is that you can take the back side of the stamps and use and you and stamp it to do the reflection off the water so that's why i really wanted that one then I got the Peaceful um, Palace. Let me see if I can do this without. Okay. Peaceful Palace. I mean, Peaceful, peaceful Place. Sorry. And this one I got because I love this image here. But I was intimidated by the thought of coloring, it, co coloring all of it. But it was just too beautiful to pass up. And I love the sentiments that they provided. So, the Treehouse Adventure stamp set is my absolute favorite. Um, it was my number one pick. I don't, I never grew up with a treehouse, but I've always wanted one. And so, that's why I really got it. Because it just reminded me of being a kid and watching those movies. And being jealous of the kids and the TV shows um, playing in playhouses and stuff. I mean, um, treehouse, ouch, just bit my, bit my cheek. 
playing with the um, tree houses and stuff. So that's why I wanted to get that one. Wonderful moment. This set here is so, so gorgeous. I love the sentiment. I love the imagery. And this is the perfect companion to um, Beautiful You. Because I think that you can even mix, mix and match the sentiment and imagery between the, um, the, those two sets. Um, to create some beautiful cards. So I did pick up two of the um, the background st stamps. So the first one is the um, handwritten. And so you have Happy, Mercy, I think this one is German. Um, so you, so basically I, what I see here, that is, so I see French, German, Dutch. So I think it's all of the markets are on here. And then I got the um the bokeh dots. So that's going to be gorgeous to create some interesting backgrounds. So the next set is another wonderful year and this is a two case stamp set. And I absolutely love this one because of um, this sentiment here, everything I am, um, you helped me to be. I thought of my mother when I um, saw this, and so I really wanted to use this set to make her a card. This um, set is great for um, um well, not not just demonstrators, but um, crafter, beginner crafters. If you don't know where to start having a great sentiment set is the perfect way to go and so because you get a little bit of everything here so you're gonna have something for birthdays telling somebody thank you you got something for christmas father's day um just because and so even valentine's day with the love you more so it's a very versatile set and i'm gonna hope and pray that this video come out okay for you guys because um, I don't know if I have an enemy to do another take of this. <laughs> so, the next bundle I got um, was the pop on by. I absolutely love this. Most people are probably very intimidated by pop-up cards. I know that the Let the Good Times Roll was a very difficult one for some people, but it made it into the catalog, uh, the annual catalog, anyway. And so, what I... <laughs> love about it is that Stampin' Up! really did make it easier. And I was actually playing around with it because I wanted to see how it would look. Now the one thing that I did wrong was I um, scored the card base across the whole um the the whole card and I probably should have just did it like a quarter of an inch um or um or a half an inch going in both ways but this is just an example so because I, I just wanted to see what it looks like and no this is not a current color in the um catalog but when I'm just playing around with something I like to use old card stock so I don't use my new ones on my current colors so this is how okay let me so this is how it will look popped up and what I did here was I actually cut out another one and then I popped up I um, placed the door handle the door here so I cut out the old door and then I put the whole new door on there because I just wanted to see how um, um, stamping up added the layers and so then I cut out the frames there and so you can actually layer this together so that way this could be white while your main house is another color so I had some fun with that there okay so the next bundle I got is the the Broadway um, 
Broadway birthday. And so I got this set because um, in the upcoming Paper Pumpkin, which is um, your last day is June 10th to subscribe to, is going to coordinate with the Broadway Brown suite. So I did get everything in that suite, I believe. Except for maybe like the little birthday candles. That was probably like one of the only things I didn't get. But you're really going to want this set. Um, especially if you have a paper pumpkin subscription. And if you don't have a paper pumpkin subscription, you're really going to want to get one. Because it's going to be fun. And I hope that um, Stampin' Up! is going to do more of that kind of um, cross-coordination. So I also picked up the Love You to Pieces bundle. Um, this here will cut out um, all of these pieces. So I was a little bit confused because I think in the catalog they maybe had embossed this image. So I wasn't sure if this was just one piece that it's going to end up embossing into the cardstock or if it's going to actually cut out pieces of the puzzle. And so it will cut out all of the pieces. And so this is even fun to do like um, maybe a little activity for your kids um, to create a small little puzzle for them. And when I got this, I actually thought of um, Tammy White because uh, with her work with... Um, autism and um and the fundraisers that she does so I, I thought that would be a beautiful set to get so i also picked up the tea room oopsie trying to make sure you guys can see it i also picked up the tea room stamp set i thought this was totally adorable it made me think of my daughter because she loves to drink tea and I'm always teasing her with, you know, do you want to spot the tea in my little fake British accent? Um, this is great to put your sentiments in and get them cut out. But, so this is going to be very useful. So I also got the Tropical Chic Bundle. This reminds me of the botanical garden or the, no, yeah, botanical garden or botanical blooms bundle that we had a couple of years ago. And you have coronating dyes. This dye here cuts into your paper, but it will not cut it out unless you get one of our layering squares that is big enough to cut out around the image. So that's how that is going to work. So a big thank you is very similar to the Hello Gorgeous bundle um, in the sense that you have this beautiful stamp set here and then you get the statement die that says thank you. This is going to be a wonderful um, stamp set to use with your multi-adhesive sheets. Um, and our multi-adhesive sheets are amazing because it goes longer. You get a 6x12 sheet. Um, well, actually, get, I think you get 10 of them. And if you cut them in half, you so you're getting 20. In comparison to what you get out there in the stores, you only get a 6x6 six six, and you only get 10 sheets. Well, you're basically getting 20 sheets for roughly almost the same amount of money. So, that's always a good plus to me anyway. Um, beautiful promenade. Now, I will admit, this week... I, I liked it, but I wasn't sure if I wanted it right now. Um, but since I had a little bit of extra money that I could splurge with, I went ahead and got it. And I mainly got it because of the envelope um, die right here. That is, um, if you remember, we actually had some envelope liner dies back in the day. Um, but they retired. I still use them. But, um... It's great to officially have something now. And so the last bundle that I have to share is the Animal Outing Bundle. This is such a cute and whimsical bundle um, that I think just anybody will love. Um, the dyes, these two here, the kangaroo and the um, rhinoceros. Rhino, we just call it a rhino. Um... 
these two here coordinate to, um, will cut out images of the paper. So, um, keep that in mind that you can cut out the images in your um, design a series paper. And then these two dies here actually cut into the paper, but not out, just to add some um, interest and in, um, texture to your cards. So, hopefully I didn't make your head spin with talking too fast. And hopefully that this video you will be able to see the imagery better. So, I want to thank you for joining me today. Alrighty, bye-bye.